Hello everyone, and welcome to PowerApps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 105, Portal Comments versus Notes. When adding the timeline control to the form, used by either an entity form or a web form on a PowerApps portal, you've got a couple of choices as to how it will work. It can be used to either display notes related to the current record, or activities. This is controlled via entity or web form metadata. The notes option, as you'd expect, means that the form will display notes related to the current record. However, only notes that contain the special star web star text will appear in the portal. This allows you to control which notes are visible when creating notes from a model-driven app. You can use this to only display notes, or you can allow portal users to add their own notes. On the other hand, the Timeline option displays activities like emails, phone calls, and appointments. Portal users are able to create special activities called Portal Comments. In either case, you need to ensure that you've properly configured entity permissions, either on the Notes slash Annotation table, or on the Activity Pointer and ADX underscore Portal Comments tables. Both options also allow users to upload attachments. It's also important to understand that either of these options do not work on an insert form. A record has to already exist in order to be able to display or attach related notes or activities. For more details on these options, you can check out my series of blog posts on this subject. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the PowerApps Portals tip number 105 on portal comments versus notes useful.